Welcome to a brief software development tutorial. This time we're going to look at how you can become more productive by turning your projects into reusable templates. Especially with web and full stack projects, you often start with a similar foundation. If you've worked in the industry for a couple of years, developed different projects, you'll have some go-to technologies you like to use to get started. Those might be Express, Nest.js or FastAPI to create a REST service, React or Angular with some additional libraries for your front end and whatever tooling you prefer to use. In the past, I had different boilerplate projects that would provide me with the scaffolding when I was starting a new project. For example, I have a simple TypeScript boilerplate I used to create JavaScript libraries. But those boilerplates were not very flexible. To make them reusable, I couldn't include too much. This changes if you use a software like Cookie Cutter, which lets you customize your boilerplates. Using Cookie Cutter's templating engine, you can introduce variables and decisions into the project creation process and through it create fine-tuned starting points. Let me show you an example. In my GitHub, I have this TypeScript boilerplate, which as I said, I used to create JavaScript libraries. And this boilerplate is currently designed to allow the creation of common JS libraries, IIFE libraries for direct use in the homepage, and also here, simple ESM libraries, which you could use in another project, which uses ES6 or TypeScript. What we have here, for example, we have a read config. And if we look into it, let's make this a little bit bigger. You see here, is the configuration which includes all the different outputs I create here. So the common JS, IIFE, and also the ESM. And also up here, we have a little prefix. This is from my MeBride gallery. So this is something which would be prefixed for every CSS. So if you use BAM style CSS, and then we have other places where we have such specifics here. Now, typically, if I just clone this, I would go in and then decide what of those outputs I want and what of those I don't need, and I would remove them. I would also change here the library name, which is currently imported here for the project info. So I would go in and change this. What I would also do, I would change here this prefix. So there are a few things I have to change. And also here in the readme, this is very generic yet, and yeah, I would need to go in and change the title here. So a lot of steps after cloning this boilerplate. Now, if we use the templating of cookie cutter, this is different. So just remember how this looks here. If we go to the cookie cutter, what we have a completely different setup here. So we have a very strange looking folder, which uses ginger style variables here. So those double brackets here and then cookie cutter dot project slug. And we're going to talk about what this is later. Then we have a readme which explains how I can install or start a new project using this template. So this is now different to just cloning. Now what I do, I use cookie cutter and with cookie cutter, I directly install a new project and cookie cutter will then under the hood clone this project and then apply all the variables. The variables is what you define here in this cookie cutter dot JSON. Let's have a quick look. So here you are flexible to create as many variables as you want to use here in your project. So for example, here we have the project name. This could be a single word, could also be multiple words. Then very important, the project slug. This is what I use here. So you see whatever name you provide here. And as a default, I will use here just the project name, lowercase and replace the spaces with a minus. So this will then turn into the folder name for your project. Then here, this is the project C as prefix. That's what I said we have currently in the Vite config, this place where we define the prefix for all the CSS classes. You can also customize it here. And then we have a project type. So do we want an ESM module, CommonJS, IIFE, or all of those? So this way we can also have decisions. So not just simple variables, but also make decisions and then have kind of an if else where we decide what will end up in the final files. And I'll show you in a second. And then also the author. Now let's just play this through. Let me just use cookie cutter to create a new project based on this template. So you better understand how this works. So we're going to head over to the git bash here and I will use cookie cutter. And then I'm going to grab from my GitHub, the URL here. And uh, currently this is also is still a branch, so I haven't merged it yet. Once the videos are released, this is gonna be on master. So I have to remember this name here because with cookie cutter, first I'm gonna paste here the whole URL for the cloning. And then I can also say, okay, let's check out a specific branch, 
currently it's called cookie cutter and later I don't need it if I want to use master. Now press enter and now since I've already done this I can either decide to not download it again but we're gonna just do yes here because I made a final fix on the branch so I want to make sure cookie cutter clones it again and now here we are asked to provide a project name so this is the first variable we had in the cookie cutter JSON and yeah I just call it simple test now here you see the project slug per default it has already used our project name lowercase and replaced the space with a minus so I can just leave it like that or provide another one but remember this will then be used as the name of the folder so you shouldn't include spaces now here the prefix for the CSS I just do simple test so ST and now here's the decision what I want do I want ESM common JS IFE or all so we're gonna just go with ESM here and I leave the author now let's have a look at the folder. So now we have a new subfolder which is called simple test. So this is the slug we entered. Let's head into it. Have a look. So this is now the complete project. And if we move over to Visual Studio Code, we can have a look at the different files. So for example, here the vid config, we scroll down here under output, it just contains the selected output, which is the ESM. And also what you can see in the readme for example we have the name we inserted simple test here and also down here in the documentation for the build it will create an esm library this is also just what we selected let's head over to the cookie cutter code again so i can show you if we go into the cookie cutter project slug again here under vid we saw here are the different conditions this is just how you write conditions in the cookie cutter template syntax so if you've used Jinja or nunjax you will be familiar with that and here we basically ended up using this part and also in the readme you see up here this is how you use a variable so we just insert the cookie cutter project name and also down here we have different conditions here so this looks a little ugly here in the rendering on git so we should look at the code so you better see it so here again you have the if condition the else and the end if so this way you can really customize what's done here now for a simple project like this it's not so much work you save by using cookie cutter but just imagine a big monorepo where you have middleware service front end maybe some configuration file basically a lot of places where you would then have to go in and make little changes after cloning your foundation project so there cookie cutter can really help help you get a quicker start and also here on the cookie cutter they have a good documentation where you can just look at the different features they also explain how to install it so have a look there and yeah just try it out if you are interested in my TypeScript boilerplate I'll leave a link to it in the description below so you can also just use it it's a very quick way to set up a little library which you want to use in your other JavaScript code and with that have a nice day and see you in the next one. Bye.